Happy Monday, everyone. Here in Kimberly, we have a day of blessed rain. And I hope it is across the province and through everywhere that there are fires. Hoping everyone is safe and is doing all right. Um, yes. Today, I'm going to discuss doing commission painting. Uh, there are a lot of painters that don't like to do commissions, but I am one of the rare few, I think pretty rare, that love commission work. And I want to tell you about it today because for me, some of the best paintings of my career have been commissions. And I'm very grateful that people have asked me to do specific scenes and it pushes me to get out of my comfort zone just a little bit. And um, they ask me to do things that I normally would not have picked. It's uh, been a good, it, it's always good to push ourselves. And um, So yeah, the thing is, I love working one-on-one -on -one with my clients. I love to provide them with a painting that will make them happy. Sometimes it's of a specific scene or a view or a memory or a mountain that just they love. Or sometimes it's they have a, one of my paintings that they love and it's sold. So I do something that's similar but different. Um, I recently had the great pleasure of doing a painting for one of my dearest friends. And her husband uh, did it as a surprise. And he basically told me to paint anything I wanted. Whatever I thought would be good for my friend. So how could I pass that up? It was just a thrill to tune in to my friend and just do something that I know she would love. Which takes us to that other topic of why commissions work and why they don't work. The reason that commission paintings work is that you have to be able to tap into that other intuitive side of yourself or you kind of get a sense for what your client wants. And it has occasionally sent me in directions that have been very bizarre, let me tell you. There was a time when I did an entire Castle Mountain painting in nothing but pastel colors. And when you think of Castle Mountain, it's not a delicate pastel type of mountain, if you know what I mean. So you have to t go out on a limb on occasion and paint things that don't necessarily feel like they make any sense to you rationally, but go with that gut feeling. So you have to be able to tune into that gut feeling and really go with it. And if you are unable to do that, that's when the fear can creep in. A lot of painters have fear around doing a commission and the whole time they're painting uh, they are worried that it's not going to turn out and worried that it won't be what the person wants. If you've got that kind of fear while you're working, chances are it's not going to succeed. You paint your emotions and if your emotion is fear then that's not what you want to pass on to your client. If you can get in tune with their love of the place or the feeling or the colors. If you're doing an abstract, you just got to provide them with the colors that will bring them that sense of joy every day. And it will work every time. So, yeah, one of my students right now, I'm doing a mentorship group with Mastrius. And I'm loving my students. And it's been a really fabulous group. So please do take time to check it out if you are looking for a bit of guidance. 
Um, one of my students is currently working on a commission, or I should say has just completed a commission. And it's a very emotional topic, and it means a lot to the painter, my student, and it means a lot to the family that she's doing it for. And she just blew it out of the park. I am so excited for her because it is just full of emotion and love. And it doesn't even matter if the painting is technically 100%, which her painting is. It looks fantastic. But it has that sense of emotion. So that is how you succeed in a commission painting. Now, <clears throat> let me take a step aside from this deep thoughts. And let's get down to the business side of a commission. For me, I charge a 10% non-refundable deposit. And the reason I do that is not because the 10% really means anything to me, because often it's not very much money. But for me, it means that the person is serious and that they really want it. And I think I used to, years ago, charge no deposit because I just wanted to paint. And I didn't want anybody to take a painting at the end of the day that they weren't 100% satisfied with. But this makes both parties really on board with it. So it helps to charge that 10%. And it gives them confidence in my abilities as well. And then I guarantee that they are pretty much going to be happy with the painting as long as, you know, I tune in to them. So I've yet to have anybody, pardon me, anyone not satisfied. And so they've paid me the full amount and we've both gone on our merry way. And I have resulted with some of the best paintings of my career. But there have been commissions through the years that I have turned down. Uh, so that is definitely something you have to get a feel for. You need to really have confidence that you can succeed. That's a big part of it. And sometimes I just say, you know what? There's a better artist out there that can do a better job. I don't specify, specifically do portraits or things like that. I have done a portrait of my accountant's dog who passed away, and that was fun. I knew the puppy. Uh, so Nikki was a good, good thing to do for me, but that's not something I specialize in. So you do have to make a judgment call as to whether you can deliver the goods. And if you're going to enjoy the painting, if you're going to be struggling through the entire process, then I don't think it's for you. So when you take on the commission, you have to have a certain amount of confidence in yourself that you can deliver. And there have definitely been days when I've said, no, this isn't for me. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you've just got to really know yourself and know whether you will enjoy the process. If it's going to be a grind through the entire thing, don't do it. That's not what we're here for. And it won't succeed. Again, it has to do with the emotions that you put into it. And another general rule of thumb, not 100%, but uh, in order to get rid of that fear, one thing that I often do is take commissions that if the client is not happy, I can turn around and sell it to someone else. So for example, when I did took on that Castle Mountain Commission, I've had a lot of clients that have loved my Castle Mountain painting. So chances are if that client had chosen not to take it, I could have sold it to somebody else. So then while I worked on it, I was never afraid that it wasn't going to work or turn out. Or even if my client wasn't happy, I knew I could sell it to somebody else. So keep that little tidbit in mind because as you're working, you want to just make it as easy as possible and as good as possible for everybody involved. So yeah, that's those are a few, a few pointers to get you through. 
And I hope this helps. And I hope that you are able to fill the world with more beautiful art that will make people happy because that's kind of what we're here for. So good luck. And if you have any questions at all about commission work, or commission paintings, or what else I like to do, or if you want to commission me for a painting, drop me a note and I can fill you in more. Okay, have a great week and I will see you right back here at the same time, same place next week. Have a good one. Bye for now.